Okay. So we are live. Oh, just fixing my voice mod quick. And we should be good to go. Okay, welcome everybody to the stream. Hope you did enjoy the last one. And, um, well, what we're going to be doing is... <clears throat> We're gonna be Okay. I I fixed it. Okay, hopefully my audio is clear today, everybody. Um, so yeah. Alright, welcome everybody to, um, well, the paper mill. So, what we've been doing with the paper mill is we've been just hauling in logs, because I thought that this was going to take a lot of logs, and that we were going to be, um, taking a long time to, uh, get enough logs but right now it's been taking forever to get paper so I can every once in a while click over here and put a log in but my storage is my log storage over here it's full so we have logs still to get out of there out of the uh, area that we're in because we have more that we need to cut and bring out so it's kind of stopping our operation right now so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh the logs and I'm gonna put them into my trailer my logging trailer and we're gonna go buy the sawmill if we can I think it's a hundred thousand dollars I'd like to buy the sawmill though because well it's gonna make us a lot of money and we're gonna be able to fix up that roller coaster guys so Let's hop in the truck here. Now I know I should let this thing warm up. But it's actually been pretty warm up today. Even for up on how steep this hill is, it's actually pretty warm for today. Okay. Good, we can haul gooseneck. Alright. Let's see if my driving's a little bit better today than it was the other day. Okay, so, really quickly, we need to move this trailer that is right over here. Very realistically, as you can tell, we're going to move it. Oh my gosh. I would just like to move my trailer over before the train comes. Okay, there we go. So, we're just going to bring this trailer down. And then... We're going to go take the truck back up. Holy cow, this trailer's pushing it! This is a very heavy log trailer. This is meant for the heavy hauls. And the big semis. Although, my truck is basically a small semi. We are not going to be towing it with it. Unless I put a different bed on this truck. But, as you can tell, I don't have money for a new bed. Because it costs like $10,000 to put a new bed on this truck right now. Because this truck is uh, expensive. For anything on this truck is expensive. This truck's like a $90,000 like truck right now. With all the add-ons that I have, I have the fuel tank and everything. Oh, 
All right, well, let's go take a trip up to our, uh, our base up here where we have the logging operation. And we're going to go see if we can make some money on these logs. Because I know I have logs down there that need to get out of there. So we're going to take the heavy haul, hook the heavy haul up. We'll take the front loader down and we'll go load up with all those logs. Um, where's the heavy haul? Oh yeah, that's right. It's down at the other pay place. Okay, I'm gonna take the Volvo down. If this Volvo doesn't work down there, we're just gonna bring it back up. It should work pretty well though. We should be able to get the uh, logs out of our way. Comment down below if we have an echo, please. If any of the audio is not well. Um, it doesn't sound well. Please comment. Cause I'm Ben trying to fix it. So I think for now we're just going to take the uh, logs with the uh, machine here. We'll just drive them over because I think that'll be quick. So. Don't want to put this in the water. Oh, we're going in the water a little bit. push these logs out of our way. I don't first drown my machine. Oh, that wasn't good. We went a little deep there. Good thing the air intake isn't down there.
So one thing I am thinking about doing guys is if we buy the sawmill, which I'm pretty sure you can do in this map, we can keep this machine right here over at the sawmill and then we can just pick up wood and instead of having to skillfully put wood at places, we can just pick up wood with this machine and and throw it into the uh, pile and then we can just keep piles of wood over there. So. That's what I think we can do with this machine that'd be best. So yeah, with this machine we'll just pick up the wood and dump it into the uh into the sawmill and we want it in. Into the pond and whatever. But then, again, there's one more money source that isn't here. If I get rid of it. Or if I buy it. So one more shop that now I own that I don't make mon any money from. I know I said, I just heard it in my stream that I said I don't make any money from. I'm going to correct myself. I won't make any money right away if I sell my stuff there. I still make money at the paper mill even though I own it. I'll still make money because I sell the products that the paper mill makes, like paper. I just don't get money for the logs that I bring into the place. That's a better way of it. explaining that. I just heard myself explaining that on the stream and I did not explain it very well. Okay. And again, if my audio or something does not sound good, please let me know and I will be trying to fix it. Because this is hopefully going to be one of my biggest streams tonight. We're going all day on the stream right now. Okay. So. It's going to be now time to hop into the semi, let that warm up a little bit, and can I take that piece of wood now? Yes. 172, alright, we need to get some uh, paper right here for this semi trailer. It's taking forever to get one roll of paper, but I think that that's going to be profitable because one roll is about $3,000. But for the $3,000, it does take a long time. But what I can do is I'll have the sawmill to run to. So I'm going to be just logging, guys, and we'll just be running around doing some logs. While the paper mill, we'll come back to every once in a while. We'll fill them up with whatever logs he needs and then keep going. Okay, now I'd like to run a full load. And I'm not going to make you guys sit and watch me uh, load this whole thing up. Um, but when we go up, when we're going that far north, the guys, we're going a, a couple minute drive. So we're going to be a couple lo little long drive. So we're going to be uh, filling this thing all the way up because it's a long drive up there. We're, gonna, we're not using the loader, guys, to load this. We're going to load it by hand because it's very fast. No, I did not overshoot this at all. I'm not lining it up. I'm, I want it to be a little bit farther. That way I can hop up on it. Make sure that they're all straightened out. Boom. Perfect. So, one thing I kind of want to set as a goal for this stream is going to be to complete that roller coaster, but I know that it won't get done. It's going to take a couple days to get that roller coaster done. Um, so, I'm going to have to find another 
thing also to do. But really quick, I'm gonna check the used dealer. That's kind of cool. It is like a bale trailer with tracks. That's cool. Ooh, this tree has a bend to it. It's gonna fit oddly in here. And as you guys can tell, we'd still be loading that loader up before we dump it in here. Well, we'd probably have that loader loaded and we'd be dumping it and trying to fix everything and having the trailer flip everything out of it. And Oh man, that was not fun that last train. You guys may not know, but I had uh, loaded a full load on my loader, and then it, everything, I had one little tree push everything off, and then when I went and I grabbed that one little branch and I was fixing it, the whole trailer lifted up from my lift mod, randomly just lifted the entire trailer up. bit leveler ground here. Alrighty, here we go. Ah, oh, why did you do that, Foam Sim? Why did you just glitch? Gotta ride one in, one out on this trail. We do not want to put this in the water. Alrighty, here we go. Time to go up across the bridge. We're gonna go over to the sawmill now. That's where our next delivery is. Let's see if we can buy the sawmill. If not, we can pull out a loan and buy it. I don't think I have any loans. Yes, I don't. I pulled out my loan, I, I'm low on money because I um, paid off all of my loans, that's why we're low on money. So the bank is all paid, I own all of my equipment, but we may buy the sawmill with a loan. If we can't buy the sawmill, I'm going to sell this wood, and I don't think we're going to get a hundred thousand out of this wood, I definitely know that. So. <laughs> I just crash. <laughs> All right. You know, if you guys want some tunes. Okay, here we go. So really quick, we're going to take a stop over here. And we're going to figure out what we need for this. Wood beam, planks, planks long, metal, floor tiles, staircase frame. I need 6,000 liters worth of a wood beam. 
That's a lot. Okay, well. Let's head up the hill. I don't know why we're tipping over, but we are. I want to move my trailer plate up. I want to move the fifth wheel plate up more to put more weight on the front of the truck. Wow, this trailer is feeling the weight a little bit. The back's starting to squat. That's kind of my horn now, so... Don't mind it. Okay, here we go. We're going to pull up here. And, wow. I have actually never seen the inside of this. But, that is pretty cool. So when you buy the sawmill, you'll own that thing goes into there, but you will own sawmill, and then the wood goes into there, and it has production lines, and all your saws, and then it comes out here. 